Okay, Halloween. We all know it. Some of us hate it. Some of us love it. Let's talk about it. All right, so today's Halloween. Um, I'm inside. Lord have mercy. It's 12.51 a.m. I should be partying with my friends, but you know, here I am. I actually like hate Halloween, so I don't really care. I just don't understand like why it exists. Why does Halloween exist? What is the purpose for Halloween? People would light bonfires and wear costumes to ward off ghosts. Okay, so unless you believe that this is gonna ward off a ghost, Anyways, I don't like Halloween, um, but sometimes I think costumes are just chef's kiss. Now hear me out, because I logged on to Twitter today and this is what I was greeted by, okay? In my trending tab was the most amazing thread of Halloween costumes I've ever seen. Like, this needs to be the new norm. Let's just take a look really quick at this Twitter thread because I, you're not gonna be disappointed. So the title of this thread is Japan's mundane Halloween costume tradition persists. So Parker says, people are still doing the Halloween event where you dress up as random everyday people in mundane situations. So this first one right here, literally I knew once I saw it right from the start, this one right here, everything else to follow was going to be amazing. So basically, the translated tweet is, person refused a bag, but their item ended up not fitting in their purse. That's amazing. That's a beautiful costume. It requires nothing, nothing. This one right here, right here. Guy who is insanely good at arcade rhythm games. That's Jeremy. I don't know who you think that is, but that's Jeremy. Don't know him personally, but that's Jeremy. Actually, it's Jeremy, and he makes it very clear that's how his name is articulated. Yo, Jeremy, what's up? But look at him, he looks like he's amazing. He looks like he belongs in that scene in the kissing booth where they're doing that little dance. I know that's literally like the whole concept of the movie, but now this one right here, I need to separate it from caption and picture. Cause I want you to read the caption and imagine something in your head. And then I want you to see the picture and just see how pinpoint perfect they, this person got it. So the caption, a store mannequin children played with. Now imagine that in your head. What does that look like? Where, where, what does it look like? All right, now that you got the image in your head, here's the actual image. Tell me that is not spot on. Spot on. Literally perfection. Cause I know it is. I see it. This one, person going to work on a windy day. Look at the execution on this one. The, the name tag on the side of the arm. Cause you know you'd be sprinting. Cause you're going to work. You gotta, you gotta get up, get into the building. <sighs> the way the, the name tag and the tie in the face and the paper bending as the wind just physically abuses you. You get the point. Personally, I can't relate to this one, but I'm sure this is what it looks like if someone m was it for a costume. Now, I will, I will say this much. It's a little bit more over the top, a little bit more extravagant than the others, you know. Definitely, you know, some handiwork went into this. I'm not gonna lie. No. The counter at one of those ramen places where you're supposed to eat alone. Now, me personally, I've only been to a ramen place one time in my whole entire life. Other than that, I eat cup of noodles. Not a fan of ramen, personally. The real ramen. Ramen, like in the little, you put the hot water in it, perfect. S -s delectable. Everything else is a little too much for me. Too much flavor. Where's the flavor? I need simple foods, you know? Like Doritos. One flavor through the whole experience. Before the smell, you already know what it's gonna taste like. A piece of fucking cardboard. The taste, if a piece of cardboard was dipped in nacho cheese. The aftertaste, nacho cheese dipped cardboard. Now this one right here, this is something we could all relate to. Don't be ashamed, you in the back over there. Don't be ashamed, okay? We all do it, probably did it today. Blinded someone, blinded yourself, it's okay. This one is someone who isn't aware of their phone flashlights on. This is very true. 
takes me back to my high school days, you know? When you'd be trying to sneak your phone under the desk and all of a sudden you're blinding Miss fucking Smith up there. Military grade flashlight that Apple decided to install. This next one, amazing. Again, I'm going to separate it into two parts because I, I want you to envision it and then I want you to see it. The caption, an uncle's Facebook selfie. Think of it in your head, think of it in your head. What is your Uncle Joe's profile picture? I know it is not with his wife, Deborah. It is this. Tell me that's not spot on. That's all, that's all I have to say about that. But yeah, that's gonna be it for today's Halloween themed video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed your Halloween, had fun, stayed safe, all that good stuff. If you did like this video though and wanna see me do like holiday themed videos, um, leave a like, comment down below if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, if you can even comment and subscribe if you're new. Also turn on the post notifications because YouTube really do be greasing me sometimes and just doesn't show a lot of people my videos. But yeah, hopefully you all had a safe and fun Halloween, like I said before. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch my content. It literally means the world to me. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next one. Adios, muchachos.